So hello everyone, how are you all doing today? So my name is Daharni. And I'm Erica. And today we will talk to you about Generation Rx. Now before we go ahead and start it, we are pharmacy students and we are from University of Charleston School of Pharmacy. Okay, so what is Generation Rx? Generation Rx is uh, um, us traveling around teaching everyone about uh, potential dangers of people incorrectly using their prescription medications and also teaching you guys about being more medication smart or having better medication safety. Okay, so today we will talk about how to become medication safe smart and then we will talk about asthma and what asthma is and then we will tell you on how to properly throw away any medication that is laying around in the house that is unwanted. Okay. So, to be medication smart, we want to know what and why we're taking the medication. We want to know how long and when we're supposed to take our medication. We want to know what to avoid while taking the medication. And we want to know if there are any side effects. Side effects are like an upset stomach or a really bad headache and what we should do about it. <clears throat> so this is Rex and we want to make sure that we know Rex because he has all of the information for the medication. So next we will talk about a prescription label. So a prescription label is what uh, it's a label that is on a pill bottle that tell, oops, tell, tell. <laughs> it has your name on it, it has the medication name on it, and it tells you how to take your medication. So for example, can somebody tell me who this medication is for? And what is the medication name? Listed right over here, it says amoxicillin, 500 milligrams. And then it has the directions. So it says take one capsule by mouth three times daily for 10 days until all taken. So you have to take the medication as it is directed on the prescription label. So auxiliary labels, they're kind of, they're, they're extra labels that are on the pill bottle that tell you certain things to either avoid or to do with the medicine. So for example, this red label up here says to take with food or milk. So we want to take the medicine with food or with a glass of milk. So you could do this at like breakfast time because who doesn't have milk with breakfast? I mean. Alright, so let's talk about how to take your prescription medications. So one of the facts that we have is that majority of the people do not take their medication as it is prescribed. Remember the prescription label we just looked at? Also, we do not share medications. Would you share your toothbrush? Would you share your underwear? Ew. No. So that's how medications work as well. You do not want to share any medications with anybody. And lastly, depending on the directions that your doctor gave you for the medication, you want to finish all the medications as required by your doctor. So if the doctor told you to finish all 10 pills, you have to finish all 10 pills. So the next thing we're going to talk about is asthma. And what do you guys think asthma is? That's right. It's when somebody has a hard time breathing. So let's talk about what can potentially cause asthma or what are some things that can cause a person trouble breathing or has a person trouble breathing. Mm -hmm. um, so pollen can, any chemicals, any weather changes that we may have, smoke, 
um, or excessive exercise. Okay, sometimes even stress can cause a, a person a trouble breathing. Okay, so for controlling your asthma, uh, how many of you guys have asthma? Yeah. So we want to make sure we know what is triggering our asthma. So it could be like flowers or too much dust or too much exercise, and we want to make sure we kind of stay away from those. We then want to make sure we take our medicine as prescribed, as with all medications, and then we want to make sure we check and see, we kind of track when we feel like we're getting better or if we're feeling worse. And if you're starting to feel worse, you want to make sure you let your parents know. So this is some examples of inhalers. For those of you who have asthma, you probably recognize one of these guys. I know my mom uses this purple one right here. And then this guy is a nebulizer, which we usually use with like smaller kids or sometimes animals, believe it or not. All right, so how do we use an inhaler? So I pass out a couple inhalers to you guys, so we're just gonna learn how to use it. So I want you to watch me first, and then we can try it out. So you wanna make sure you have your inhaler upright, and we remove the cap, right? Then we're gonna shake the inhaler, and then we're gonna hold it upright again. We're gonna put it in our mouth, and we're gonna press the button on, oh, I have to tilt back. We're gonna, we're gonna put the thing in our mouth, we're gonna tilt back, we're gonna breathe out, Press the button and breathe in slowly for about five seconds. So we go. Then we hold our breath for 10 seconds so we let the medicine go all the way deep down into our lungs. And then if we need another puff, we wait for about a minute in between each one. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions? All right, so let's go back to throwing away medication properly. So we all know that medications are very important when we get sick. That's what it helps us make us feel better. So once we are done using our medication and when we no longer need it and we have extra medication that we have, you no longer want to keep it. So how do we get rid of this medication that is unwanted? So there are ways to you can safely dispose or throw away these medications. So you do not want to harm any of your little brothers or uh, sisters, any pets or any other family members. So who thinks it's a good idea to throw our medicine away in the trash? No, it's not a good idea because our pets or our little brothers or sisters could get a hold of the medicine and if they take it, they could get really sick. How about flushing it down the toilet? Who thinks that's a good idea? This is also a no, because what will happen is when you flush it, it goes into different waterways, and the fishes can get a hold of the medication, and if the fishes get a hold of the medication, something bad could happen to them, or we could end up eat, eating the fish who have been uh, affected by the medicine, and then we could get sick, and we don't want that. Okay, so... Can somebody tell me what are some ways of properly throwing away any unwanted medications? So there are two ways. You can either go uh, give these unwanted medications on drug take back days, well they will take all of your any unwanted medications, or you can also go to a local police station and they can take it as well. 
Another thing we have is that we have these blue bags and they are called medication disposal system bags. And if your parents need these, they are available in the school office. So, just as a recap, what have we learned today? What's the first thing we went over? Medications, being medication smart, right? So you want to know what and why. We want to know how long and when. We want to know what not to do while on the medication. And we want to know if we have any side effects, like our upset stomach. Okay? What's the next thing we talked about? Asthma. That's right. We want to know what our triggers are. We want to make sure we're not, we're avoiding those triggers. We want to make sure we take our medicine as directed. And we want to make sure that we're keeping track of how we're feeling. So if we're feeling worse, we tell our parents or our grandma or whoever. And what's the last thing we went over? Medication disposal. That's right. So if you, so we're, there are purple bags in the school office, so if your parents or your guardian needs to pick up any, you just let them know that they're there. Do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? Well, thank you. Thank you. We will be leaving now.